with you up here, the most electrifying man on YouTube Entertainment is hanging out inside the Do-Up Workshop. And well, it's Friday, I'm in the Do-Up Workshop, that means that we can only be talking about one thing and one thing only, and that is Lucha Underground. Hell yeah! Now I know what you're saying to yourself, you're like, Do-Up, wait a minute, pump the brakes, woo-woo-woo, why are you talking Lucha Underground? The El Rey Network is only playing greatest hits right now because Lucha Underground isn't coming back with part two of season three until the summertime. Well, I'll tell you why I'm talking Lucha Underground. Last week, Do Up ran through my top five list. I counted down what Do Up thought was the top five heel wins in part one of season three, Lucha Underground. Well, today we are turning the tide. That's right. Today we are talking the top five face wins. That's right. All those baby faces, all your heroes, all the people that we love to chant for, the believers on their feet screaming for all those good guys. Lucha, Lucha, this is Lucha, this is awesome. Everything that you guys out there have been screaming and getting hyped for is what we're talking about right now in Lucha Underground. Top five face wins. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to moving. Talking about all the good guys that won all these badass matches in Lucha Underground. Rollins, what are you doing here? We ain't talking about WWE or your injury. We're talking Lucha Underground, damn it. Coming in number five on Two Ops' top five list of face wins. Number five is the debut of the Rabbit Tribe. And you're saying to yourself, do up, wait a minute. The Rabbit Tribe, they're heels. They're the bad guys. That's Paul London, Salt the Door, and Mala Suerte. Why are we talking about that? Because they lost, damn it. That's right, yeah. They lost to Aerostar, Phoenix, and Drago, the trio's champions. Hell yeah, that's right. That's why it's a top five face win. Because those badass trio's champions, Phoenix, Drago, and Aerostar, kicked the shit out of the Rabbit Tribe on their debut. You and Lucha Underground. That's right. Paul London sucks. Get your ass out the door. Congratulations to Aerostar Phoenix and Drago for keeping the trio's belt around their waist and kicking the crap out of the Rabbit Tribe on their debut in the temple. Coming in number four on Two Up's top five list of face wins. Number four was one of the most badass matches I've ever seen in Lucha Underground. That's right. What's Do Up talking about? I'll tell you what Do Up's talking about. Do Up is talking about the first ever Weapons of Mass Destruction match, which featured Killshot going one on one with Marty the Moth Martinez. That's right. Killshot picked up this win in a. I mean, essentially, it was all weapons legal. Anything goes. The weapons of mass destruction match. And I remember when Killshot came off the top of that ladder, double stomped Marty the Moth Martinez through a table, picked up the win, one, two, three, and took back his dog tags that Marty the Moth had so ignorantly taken away from Killshot. Badass kill shot, you earned that win. All right, coming in number three on two up's top five list of face wins was the Mac. That's right, the Mac was kicking all types of ass this season in Lucha Underground. And well, he went through a hell of a lot in what Dario Cueto called the Battle of the Bulls tournament. Now, the Battle of the Bulls tournament was essentially set up to find a number one contender to Johnny Mundo's Lucha Underground Championship. And he set up these four different Fatal 4-Way matches where the winner of these four Fatal 4-Way matches all got put into a Fatal 4-Way elimination match. That's right. So not only did Mac survive his first Fatal 4-Way, which featured Marty the Moth Martinez, uh, Mil Muertes, and El Dragon Azteca Jr., the Mac won that shit. Then he survived the elimination Fatal 4-Way, which featured Cage... Jeremiah Crane, and the Darewolf P.J. Black. Hats off to the Mac for kicking all types of ass and becoming the number one contender to Johnny Mundo's Lucha Underground Championship. The Mac kicking all types of ass in the Battle of the Bulls Tournament. Yeah! And he kicks ass because he does the stunner. Yeah, that's right. He's do-hop dropping everybody all over the temple.
Roxanne. I had such a hard time trying to decide who was number one and who was number two, but I, I finally pinned it and I came down to it. Number two, coming in close call, like I said here, number two and number one. Number two, coming in on Two Up's top five list of face wins in Lucha Underground season three was the um, Loser Leaves Lucha match, which pit Rey Mysterio Jr. against Chavo Guerrero. And the loser leaves Lucha Underground. Oh, man. Rey Mysterio Getting it done against Chavo Guerrero. Oh, I could not believe this match. I was on the edge of my seat the whole time. Rey Mysterio nailed that 619. Killed the frog splash and sent Chavo Guerrero packing. Yeah, a round of applause for the Rey Mysterio Jr. You kicked all types of ass. You sent Chavo Guerrero packing. That's badass. Coming in, number one on two ups top five list of face wins. Lucha Underground Season 3 Part 1. We're Gonna need a drum roll. Are you ready? Coming in. Number one. Oh my god, did you guys remember Aztec Warfare? Where Sexy Star got the job done. That's right. Sexy Star survived and beat all of the odds when she pinned. Will Muertes and became the new Lucha Underground Champion. Now, I'm not going to say that she didn't have a lot of help because Rey Mysterio Jr. took out the monster Matanza Cueto. And when he was out, it was anyone's game. But when it came down to the last two in the ring, Sexy Star and Will Muertes, Sexy Star, oh my God, she lit the temple on fire. She showed everybody what intestinal fortitude was and sexy star took the lucha underground championship home the first ever woman champion in lucha underground and the first ever time i may have cried that was such a badass win round of applause to sexy star for pulling that off aztec warfare was something to be held but at the end when she beat will muertes for that championship belt oh man two up got emotional i'm not gonna lie all right, guys, so that was two up the list of top five face wins here at Lucha Underground Season 3 Part 1. Part 2 of Season 3 is coming back this summer, and, well, frankly, I couldn't be more excited about it. So keep your eyes peeled, and trust me, if you're watching Do Up, you're going to know about it because my ass will be telling you all about it. All right, guys. I'm out of time. Let me know what you think. Leave it in the comments. Tell me if you thought everything I thought or maybe you had a different face win that you thought should have made the list. Either way, leave it in the comments and tell me. But as for now, like this video, leave a comment if you haven't done it already. Subscribe for some more fucking do up. Yeah! Rollins, what are you doing? The video is over. You're not here to talk about any of your wins.